your chest sucks because you do this every time you enter the gym and we're gonna fix that today. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy FB Aftermath, AKA Teron Beckham, where you can reverse it however you wanna do it. But today, we are gonna build the chest, fuck the rest. I'm gonna put y'all through a chest routine, how I think you should prioritize certain exercises in your chest routine. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pass those limits. We're gonna pass those plateaus. Okay, we about to get it. Let's go. All right. So when it comes to chest growth, a lot of you might start with your favorite exercise. You don't want to do that. You know why? Because your favorite exercise is most likely going to be your heaviest exercise or the heaviest you can go on, and we don't want that. We want to start our workout with our worst exercise. And majority of the time, unless you're a Goku flex, your worst bench press is the incline, or at least your weakest bench press is the incline. So we're gonna start off this session with incline press. We're gonna go four sets, pyramid scheme, or progressive overload, however you like to call it, and uh, that's where we start. That's gonna be the first thing you need to do. Start with your weakest exercise. why you're not touching your chest. So for incline, I definitely don't trust my chest anyways, but to be extra safe, I'm not touching my chest because you guys know, for those who've been back to the channel know that I tore my bicep almost two weeks ago, and I kind of nicked it earlier this morning. So around that range of motion, it doesn't hurt too much. I don't want to push it, but at the same time, I want to get this video out for you guys. So I'm not going to go too crazy. It's more informative versus going whole bad shit crazy on the bench. So we're done with the incline. Next, next is honestly probably, I feel like it's the most important. Nobody's doing decline, bro. Nobody, this is the only, this is literally the pure example of a chest exercise. The decline hits the entire chest. The decline hits the entire chest. It even hits the upper chest. As the weight comes down, what, where, where's the contraction coming? Everything's going up and the contraction's coming back down. Incline, just up here. Decline hits the chest fully. And you gotta get back under that decline bar, you know? Just learn it again. I, I prefer dumbbells, but they have like a weird setup. So uh, I used to I used to have a, a bench and then put like plates under it to try to make decline, but we're not, we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna use this. flat bench press. I like using this because I don't want to have to, I feel like the dumbbells for me right now would be too much of a risk. 
just because there's a lot of stability that comes in the dumbbells. So with this, I can still get single arm work and still put up big weight. So we're gonna do that. For this, I kinda go around, I stay around eight to 12 reps throughout the whole four to five sets. All right, so I've had my best chest sessions, best chest pumps, with just barely going under 90 degrees. There's something about that positioning that just really fills up the, the chest. So especially when I do like floor presses, my elbows stop on the floor and go up. Some of the best chest pumps from doing that. So don't, don't sit there and think that you gotta come all the way over here, stretch like crazy to get a, a, a chest pump or work the chest properly still get a lot done with just that slight under what it is you know what I'm about to say 20 now we got 10 to 80 percent off code aftermath and an additional 10 percent off when you use my code once again so go ahead and get your orders in and uh, as we're talking about this transparent labs 25% off the whole site. Uh, my code doesn't work right now, but 25% off the whole site. There's like another code for it, so definitely hit that up. Just hit the link down below and just like, just, just hit that link, please. push-ups, 10 reps, 10, uh, about 10 reps, actually 10 reps because we got the flies to mix and match with. 10 and 10, five sets. With the flies, I don't do flies out here with my arms extended. Flies come, this is the peak contraction right here. Elbows coming in, does it come out? Back in, one. Not out here. In here. Tight. Three. Four. Oh. Uh. Mm. Team, when I do push ups, I like to put pressure on that meaty part of that thumb. When I do that, I feel a lot more in my chest. It's just small, these small little changes that I get. So we're gonna do some cable crossovers. I love cable crossovers. I just get a skin splitting pump right in that mid chest. And we uh, we alternate. So we'll go from one, two,
chest that action. Oh, look at that pump right there. See that? You see that shit? If you notice the pump, this is the front body dump. The front body dump truck. Come on, bro. You gotta hit legs, bro. You got the little pump right here. What's yours? 25s? 25 inches? 25 inches? <laughs> <laughs> Finish off the triceps to end the workout. I like using this. I used to use the tricep rope. Used to be right here. You know, pull, push it down. Now, I forgot who I was watching, but he used the e KG whatever, um, and says pulling back the elbows as far as you can and going for that extension gets more tricep work. Nice overhead extension machine. That's what we're gonna finish out with right here. Once again, probably like eight to 12 reps. The muscle overload, reset, increasing the weight. So we'll start with 12, probably go like 12 reps. If either we can go 12 reps for each set and continue up or go heavier and bring the, the reps down, that you can do. So play with it, you know? is the video make sure you like and subscribe to this video the last video the video before that just go through a splurge through all my videos i got over 800 you can find something to watch you feel me but it's your boy fb we out Ackland.fitness for programs personal trainers coming soon to the houston area so definitely hit your boy up and uh peace out